Maraba, ahla wa sahla ya shabab. So, welcome to part 10. Mm, I'm getting already a little bit tired. Um, okay, nonetheless, part 10. Um, we set up the application class for our Dagger Hill dependency graph. It should be, mm, as you can see from the hierarchy where it should be, it should be outside of any other package. And uh, now, as you might remember, let me just show it to you. Our app will have a bottom navigation with three fragments, the open tasks, the closed tasks, and all tasks. And yeah, that's it. Um, the thing is, what we are going to do now is to start with the fragments. Let's start. We need a new package. Package UI. The first thing what we are going to do is to move main activity into UI. Refactor, yes. Because now you will see um, it also properly gets um, set here. The path of the main activity and uh, here as well. That's great, that's great, that's great, that's great. And uh, now we are starting to create a new package. Again, a new package uh, for our bottom navigation. I will just call it bottom nav. Okay. Let us just add some empty fragments, just some file names. Let's call it task all fragment. Uh, task all fragment next will be task open fragment okay and one more we need and this is task closed closed fragment and we need again one class to inherit from uh, yes this is the task fragment this will be an abstract class task fragment okay this is an abstract class okay 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 as you can see uh, we have our structure in here and we can continue on with the other UI stuff. Uh, we will do the um, UI configuration, the fragment configuration a little bit later. But for now, let's just add a new uh, package again in UI. Uh, package. Let's say view and then epoxy. Okay, now the thing is, we are going to use epoxy. Epoxy is a library from Airbnb, you know the company Airbnb, and just you, where you can book a residence and so on instead of a hotel or so. Yeah, it's from, we are using a library from this publicly traded company. It was once a very, very high valued startup. But yeah, okay, we are using a library from them and it's the epoxy config library. So we have it in our dependencies already. And now let's add, uh, how we call it, epoxy config. Config, okay. This will be an internal interface. Okay. But it needs some annotations to work. Epoxy data binding pattern. Here we tell our class will be of class. God damn it. Okay. Okay. A layer prefix. Now, 
the layout prefix is very, very important. Let me just show it to you. So we have here layouts. We have here activity underscore main layout. Every time when we are now creating a new layout and epoxy underscore, epoxy underscore. Now I have defined that every layout which starts with epoxy underscore, like epoxy for instance, all task or so. Let me just let me add it just quickly. Let's say when it's when a layout. Sorry, we want a layout. Layout. When we say epoxy underscore fragment all task, then this then the library knows it should use this XML file. Um, and it knows because of the starting epoxy underscore, this should be used for data binding with epoxy. Uh, I have written some of something about it in my blog on Medium, on my Medium article, you can read it there. But for now we are good. We can get rid of these. I would say that that looks good. And now we can continue to add the task epoxy controller. And yeah, let's continue with that. A new class, task epoxy controller. Okay, okay, this class, this will set our, um, this will be handling our stuff in here. Sorry, it's just chat Um It will set also the, 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 the binding of the data, as you can see here, and also the color values. So uh, let's say private uh, card background card background color it's an integer value and of course this needs to inherit from epoxy controller okay okay Mm, there are some methods to implement. Yes, implement the members. But in order that we continue with it, we need to first define the XML layout. Okay. So, in here, uh, I mean, we can delete this for now, delete it. Because we need, I mean, I could have also renamed it, but it doesn't matter. Uh, epoxy underscore item underscore task. This will be used in our build models, which, which we are going to overwrite. Okay, epoxy item that, 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 code. Okay, nice, nice, nice. The first thing what we need, we need to enable data binding, convert to data binding layout. Yes. Nice. And let me just uh, wait a second. I will just grab the code. So this would be otherwise very, 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 very tedious to do this all on your our own. The code. And, okay, part 10. Luckily, I've already written on medium everything. So let me just grab the code layout. Epoxy item task, then I can explain it to you better. Raw, yes, raw. Da, 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 da. I mean, I think I can just copy paste. Yes, yes, should be good, 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 good. Okay, okay, okay. What does it say? Created on. Okay, uh, different package. Just let me adapt this. Yeah, I got the Yarope. Okay, 
Now we are good to go. Now we are good to go. As you can see, we have to. By the way, go and visit Ramallah. It means Ramallah is a city in the West Bank in Palestine. So that you know, it just means go and visit Ramallah. It's a city in the West Bank. Okay, but one more thing. Let's just. And I am so sorry. We forget to do something in here. The task patch response isn't complete yet. But let me just. Uh, I just forgot something. Let me just go back and copy it out. Uh, the model, we need to adjust the model. This needs to be also parcelized. Okay, this is everything I can copy, just remove it. Okay, okay, now we are good to go. Because we need to do parcelization, uh, if we get the, um, if we get the um, JSON data to, to make it a Kotlin file, a data class file. Uh, we need the uh, annotation parcelized and to inherit from parcel, parcel able. And this is a method where we just, it's a click listener when the item gets clicked. And let me just check, did I forget it for the other ones? Ah, good, wait, wait just a second. Okay, if we create request, now we don't need anything else. Yes. Okay, good to go. Sorry, I forgot that. Just adapt this in here. And now the arrows should be gone. That's great. And basically what we're doing, we're creating here a card. As you can see, it's a constraint layout to set the things like here. The priority should be here in the upper left. Reminder on the upper right. In the middle should be the description, which you see with go and visit Ramallah. And here in the upper bottom left, we have created on. Okay, that's basically it. And yeah, the next thing is we need a util package because we don't, we need to set this property attribute here. And of course, we'll do this in the next video. So catch me in the next one. If you have any questions, write something in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like. You know the drill. Illa likaya, shabab. See you soon.